Welcome to Amazon FBA Sampling and Product Testing. In this particular section of Amazon FBA, we'll be covering why is it important to test out the products before you actually are going to sell them on Amazon. One of the primary reasons is to test out the market. You want to show everybody and one of the primary reasons is that you want to test out the market. You want to put the products out there and you want to see what's going to happen once you do it. When you put the products out there, you're going to monitor them and see if they're going to sell or not and how good they will be selling. What happens is, is when you test out a product, sometimes it is successful and sometimes it's not. And rather than buying a huge lot of the same exact products and then finding out none of those products actually sell, or at worst you're stuck with a huge inventory, the best way for you uh, when you test out one or two products, you can right away find out the demand. Although you already did the research on it and it seems like the product is working, a lot of times you could still be wrong and this is why you actually need the actual product on hand to double check and make sure it's going to actually work for you and the market is not competitive enough as well for this specific product. Also, it's going to give you a lot more profits by uh, having a product that actually works and after you test it out and you tested its test run and it is successful, now you know this particular product is going to sell and make you money. And then you can concentrate on the products that actually are going to make you money versus wasting time on products that may or may not sell at all. This is why I really suggest you get and test out uh, the product on a limited uh, basis before you go and buy a huge amount of those products and waste your money on it. This is very important. It doesn't matter what kind of a deal you might get for this specific product. If it's not going to be selling, uh, it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. You'll be stuck with a huge amount of unsold merchandise and lose a lot of cash. The cons of using this particular method, there are not many. Uh, a lot of times uh, the products may not have a sample. You might not be able to secure a sample of the specific products that you want to sell. The way that you can go around it, you might have to actually purchase the product yourself and put your own money up front so you can save money in the long run. I would rather uh, waste five bucks on a product and test it out, then buy a huge supply of it at a discount, test it, and then find out there is no market. Now I'm stuck with thousands of dollars of merchandise wasting just uh, wasting money on a $5 product or whatever the cost of it that is. The other issue with sampling is the storage fees on Amazon FBA. Uh, if you're testing out a bunch of those products and too many of them, you end up uh, wasting a lot of money on the storage fees. So I suggest you focus on very few products, test them out, and if they work, uh, work with them. Don't overwhelm yourself with, with too many test products on the market. It's more important for you to launch your business and get a few products that are working and then uh, focus on them than doing it any other way around that. And lastly, this takes time. Every new product you're going to test out is going to take you a lot of time going through this process all over again and testing uh, the product market, which is why I suggest for you focus on very small amount of those products. Sampling and testing is vital for your business success. The reason for that is you don't want to actually end up with a bunch of items that are not going to be selling. In fact, if you can get the item for free, test it out and see if it works, and then if it does sell, make money with it. It's much better than for you uh, having to spend your own money and then not sure if it's going to work out for you or not. This is one of my favorite sites to do business with. The reason for that, I can order a bunch of items from them and I don't have to pay for it. As long as the cost is not that big from this site, they will give me a sample. 
and if you keep on doing business with the same website they will get more generous with you so the more products you buy from them the more likely they will give you a lot more products to test out as well so they have a budget that they can actually give it to you so the more success you have in Amazon FBA the more items you can get to sample out from the same site as well this is why it's good to have the same exact supplier and work with them for a long time so for example we're going to be testing the non-reflective safety vests uh, orange out this particular product is something that I would actually get from this company. The cost for you is only three dollars and you can definitely probably sell it for around six or seven bucks as an Amazon FBA. So what I would do is call them up, I will ask for one sample for a test and then I list it up on Amazon and see if it's going to sell. And if it is going to sell and make my money worthwhile and my time as well, I will order a bunch more of them. As you can see, uh, the more you order, the more money you save. And that's going to give you already uh, a bunch of cash that you can make on an existing product supply. And you'll make a lot more money now because you know this product works, you sampled it, you tested it out, and you know you can make more money with it. This is the way I would go about it as well.